this method to create new user account well when the user fill up the registration form and then click on the create account button and you know that that is basically our registration screen so in here on the registration screen our sign up button here is our sign up button which is create account button and the user tap on it we will call that method so before calling that method we will do some form validation that is the user must provide each and every information in the text field that is the user must fill all fields so for that purpose we will add if condition and we have to check all things step by step so we will say if first we will check if the authentication controller dot profile image now you know that if you go to the authentication controller as I told you the picked image file which the user either picked from phone gallery or the user capture with phone camera the value of that is accessible by this profile image remember so yeah what we do here we are checking that is if that image file if that image file is not equals to null which simply means that the user must pick up an image file and let's say if it is equals to null then we will simply tell to the user image file missing so we will say please pick image from gallery or capture with camera so the user will know that I have not captured image with camera or pick up with gallery okay after that condition the next thing that we will check is basically the form fields if any form field is empty so if any form field is empty then the else part will execute and we will simply say that field is empty any field is empty even if the user leave any one single field empty or you can say a field is empty so you will say please fill out all fields in text fields that is fill out the complete sign up form and then here we will check out each and every one so for example starting from the name we can say name text setting controller dot text dot trim trim simply means that if the user give any extra spaces while fill up of the field let's say the name text field if the user fill up let's say John and then give some extra spaces then this trim will remove those extra spaces dot is not empty so if the name is not empty then step by step we will go okay then comes after it the email and password so we can say email is not empty then password is not empty and it will there are a lot of condition we have to add as we have a lot of data let me quickly add here a comment so that we do not get confused okay for personal info first we are adding the condition and then of course after the password we have edge text reading controller and then after the edge phone number we have
and then we have CD text editing controller then the country text editing controller we have so one by one I'm going to add this okay So this is our if condition where we check if the personal information is not empty and then if the appearance is not empty and then if the lifest uh, lifestyle text field is not empty and then if the background cultural values text fields are not empty. So if any field is not empty then inside this if condition we are going to call the method which is create u new user account and you know that to this new user account we will pass the user information you can see all these parameter we have to pass so let me just remove it so that you can see it so authentication controller dot create new user account and one by one we have to pass the user information as you know that this method receive this whole information including image profile, email, password, name up to ethnicity we have to pass to it okay that is from here we are passing it from here we will pass now which is receiving here okay which is receiving here so let's pass it quickly first we have the image so which is the authentication controller which is by the name profile image so we can say authentication controller dot profile image which is the image file make sure to add a null check with this profile image so for the time saving you can simply quickly add that up to this stream okay that is first we will pass the name because in the same sequence we are receiving it here okay that is you can see email will be received inside email and all these things so first image we receive here then email and then password so make sure that first you pass email okay first image then email and then after the email we have password so password text reading controller dot text dot trim and similarly after the password we are receiving name age phone number and all this information so let's just copy paste this now we have name email password already done so then edge then phone So as you know these are the parameter for personal info so you have to verify it starting from image then email password email password name edge phone city name edge phone city then country profile heading looking for a partner and publish date time 
so after it phone number city country profile heading country city profile head country profile heading and looking for in a partner looking for in a partner and the published date time there is no need to receive it here okay this is something which we define inside this method we that is we get the current date time and using its millisecond since epoch which will be in integer form so that we saved here okay so there is no need to receive it from there so anyways up to looking for in a partner we pass from here personal info then after it we have to pass the appearance from the registration screen okay so one by one So these are the parameters which we pass to this create new user account method. The personal information, please match it, okay? That is you do not miss it. And it will be in the exact same manner where we are receiving it here, okay? That is first we have image profile, then email, password, name, age, phone number, like this, okay? So personal info will be received inside the personal info and then we send appearance which will be received inside appearance and then we send the lifestyle which will be received inside lifestyle and then we send the background culture values which we send from here and then it will be received inside the background culture values so this is all about how we verify our this long registration form where we have I think 20 year text form fields that's why our if condition is too much big and then of course when we call the method we also pass out this 20 year parameters we pass it to over this method which we are receiving here as you see so one thing which is left is now what we can do is this on tap will be asynchronous and when we call this method which is authentication controller dot create new user account here we will wait for the response so that is when this method when this method is executed successfully okay that is when the account is created successfully or let's say if any error occur this method okay this method has two parts either the account will be created successfully or an error will occur so whatever happens we will wait for the response when the response receive then after calling this method after that here we have our boolean type variable which we remember which is by the name show progress bar we have to set this to false that is to stop the animation and then come back to the authentication controller when the account is created successfully then send the user to the home screen for now as we have not yet implemented the home screen so we will just send the user to the let's quickly create that screen okay it is simple so we will right click on lib new create a new folder which will be by the name home screen right click on home screen new dot file and we will give it name as home underscore screen 
import the material dot dot and let's quickly create stateful widget we will give it name as home screen and for now we will add a scaffold widget and then at the body we will add a center widget that is at the center of the screen we will display our text widget which will be just welcome we have to make sure that the color is visible so we will change it to color dot green phone size let's say 20 okay this is just for now of course later on we will implement our swiping screen so anyways what we can do after a successful uh, registration we will send the user to the home screen and one thing one important information which we have here is basically the edge on which letter we will impl uh, apply filter so this edge must be saved to the Firestore database uh, in integer format so what we can do is we have to make sure that we convert it to integer form so we can say in dot parse in dot parse edge okay we convert that to integer form and inside our person remember where we have this edge it must be in integer form so make sure to change this to integer here as well like this and yeah that's it okay in dot parse and also do the changes here so we are ready to test our application just to see how it looks and we will also I will also then uh, go through the code so you can understand all this process which we have completed in this section here on the registration screen one thing we have to check and that is when the user tap on the create account button when the user tap on the create account button and when the condition are verified and when we call the method before calling the method we have to set the show progress bar to true inside the set state okay and then after when this method is called and we, re we receive the response that is wait simply means we wait for its complete execution when it is completely executed then after it after this we set the show progress bar to false okay make sure to do these so anyways now let's just install the app on our phone and test out our application completely as we have to go through the code so it is important that we also see the phone alongside with it so you will better understand the code